That was something that actually, now that you say that, Team One was also talking about the dependencies. And mm -hmm. I think they had a problem with, uh, with Python, the versions of Python that they were using, maybe? Uh, or uh, no, I can't remember exactly what it was that they were having trouble with, but I remember it was dependencies. Yeah, yeah. And it was Python version. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I can understand that that is a tricky one. And I've heard people talk about that in meetups too, especially when you get, I mean, right now we're just working with MLflow, right? But when you start to add a few different tools on top of that, mm -hmm. the managing dependencies part really becomes half the battle. And so how do you make sure that you can manage all of these? Have you ever, has anybody, this is just like a, a little bit of a tangent, but ha, does anyone have any good ways of doing that? I, I, I can I can chime in, in into this, Bob, yeah. because um, um, our, our, our company spent a lot of energy on, on, on getting this right. And um, I mean, one thing is that try to avoid using notebooks as much as possible because you have this tendency of installing anything mm -hmm. onto your notebook server and then train a model and then send it to production and then who, who knows what. Um, so what we did is uh, we, we run everything in a Python script and we recreate the virtual environment from the dockers, uh, so from the, from the repositories uh, requirements.txt. And if it doesn't work, you know, then then you can fix it and um, and and rerun it. But you know that the next person who downloads it into a new machine, and uh, and creates a new virtual environment, we're going to have the same virtual environment. Um, and pinning down the the versions is very important because you do get um, so scikit-learn are not compatible over different versions, um, and you are just going to get errors which can trip um, unit tests. So um, th this is very important. Like, like, yeah, I, I, yeah. I think from the Slack channel, you know that I don't like notebooks, but <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my bottom line. <laughs> I would just, I would just add that uh, I'm not, I not, don't fully, fully agree with the notebooks. Uh, I still don't think if they are great or not, uh, if they are awful. But uh, I would just add that uh, yes, scripts and environments, and um, I think this is like really important to base. Uh, both your training, like development environment and inference environment from the same base image. Mm. Because like in, in my company, we often get into troubles, even if having the same Docker file, building on the same machine, uh, on the same like um, configuration uh, in one cluster in Azure, Azure, no, it, in AWS, it works in Azure, it's uh, segmentation fault. And, mm. Who knows what happened down there? Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, completely. Yeah, we could probably have used like a GitHub runner or something like that to make the process more rep replicable, mm. like running a Docker image with all the dependencies. 